This is my mom's potatoes, and she grew them with a bag of potatoes. And lots of love. Yeah, and soil. Love. And water. Even yeah. though they're, they're dirty. Ah, so. uh, grew potatoes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be harvesting potatoes for the first time and I am so excited. So I planted these back at the end of August and I already knew that I was late in planting them, but I really wanted to get some potatoes in anyways. So I had some Yukon Gold potatoes that were in my pantry. They were <laughs> sprouting, so I decided, well, these will work, and I planted them. Now, because I didn't have a lot of time, and I was already planting it later than I originally wanted to, I just went ahead and planted them whole with the eyes all over. So I am fully expecting these potatoes to be baby potatoes because they had to grow so close together. Um, but it's my first time, and I'm I'm so excited if you couldn't tell. I'm not expecting too much because it's my first time growing them and I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm still really excited. I did pull one potato yesterday that was sticking out. <laughs> it's the cutest little baby potato, but I'm gonna be using these for our Thanksgiving dinner. So I wanted to go ahead and pull them now because Thanksgiving is less than two weeks away and I wanted them to cure to give the skins time to thicken up. So let's get going. I live on a really busy country road, so I know you guys are going to be hearing a lot of car sounds and I am so sorry in advance for that. So aside from the fact that I wanted these to cure, I'm pulling them out now because we got rain over the weekend and these potatoes are looking really blighty and I don't want that to affect anything else that I've got in the garden. So I'm just going to go ahead and start digging these up. Um, with the greens, I am going to burn them just because I don't want this disease to spread anywhere else. And I live in South Carolina where it is humid always. And that can spread really fast, really easy here. So let's get started. Just this one plant gave me six pretty decent sized potatoes and then a bunch of these little teeny tiny babies. This is so cute! Oh my god! I had no idea what I was doing. I've never stuck a potato in the ground. But I tried it anyways. And I am so glad I did because this is making me so happy. I had no idea Spud could make somebody feel this way. Oh my god, guys. It's also gross, but to me it's pretty cool because this is where the original potato was. This is the skin from it. That is so cool. Thank you, Phil. potato coquita. I 
I still got a little bit of sunlight, I am going to harvest these rattlesnake pole beans that I have let completely dry out on the vine so that I can have some dry beans. watching this hello <laughs> So I got all the dry beans off, but I am going to leave the vines because I don't know if you can tell, but there are several that are green or not quite ready. So I'm going to leave the vines just so those can finish. And then once these have completely dried off, then I'll go ahead and remove the rest. This is what I got from the beans. Um, don't let this fool you. My beans are under here. I just needed somewhere else to put them. I am going to let these hang out in the house for a couple days just to make sure that any of them that were still a little moist will dry out before I start shelling all the beans. Things I learned from my first potato planting. Number one, next time, plant them when I plan to plant them. Like put it in a calendar and do it on time so that I can have bigger potatoes. Lesson two is if I want potatoes like this, I know what to do. Uh, number three is I do want to try next time to actually cut the eyes and let them scab over and have them nice and spread out. That way I'll get way more plants than I got this time around and I'll have more potatoes. Last lesson these potatoes taught me is to just plant the thing. I went back and forth so many times with these potatoes on whether I should plant them or not because I was already late to doing it. I was already running out of time and I thought nothing was going to come of it and I was just going to waste my time and wasting compost and wasting soil and just wasting so many things and instead I was wasting time being indecisive and they grew anyways. So the biggest lesson I took away from these potatoes is to just do the thing because you never know what's going to come of it. You might end up with a bunch of these cute behind little baby potatoes or you could end up with good sized potatoes that you weren't expecting and really pretty looking ones. So it's worth it to plant the things that you're unsure of because they end up bringing you things that you were not expecting. Thanks for hanging out with me in the garden today, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and stick around with me for a little while on this journey to becoming a homesteader. I'll see you soon.